One final time, welcome to our Buffs recap on 850KOA.com and CUBuffs.com. For Chad Brown, I'm Mark Johnson. Buffaloes, once again, a gut-wrenching loss as they fall in the season finale to the University of Utah, 38-34. to It's been the same story over and over and over again. you got to feel bad for these kids, This don't has you? been a really tough season. I do feel bad for the kids. When you lose consistently so close, this game takes so much em emotional investment. And to not get the reward at the end of W, all season long throughout the Pac-12 schedule. It's been a tough one. Before we kind of talk about the, the season as a whole, let's talk about the ball game. Mm -hmm. Colorado jumped out early, had a lead at the half, had a lead through three quarters. Then an interception in the fourth, return for a touchdown by Dominic Hatfield, made it a 38-34 ball game. The Buffs couldn't answer one more time. Again, it fits the mode we've seen all season, where the Buffs come out, they fight, they fight hard, they play very competitively, but ultimately, man, just not enough to get the W. Yeah. When you look at this thing, uh, that the fight was there, mm -hmm. the, the try was there, does it come down to just not enough guys to be making plays to win a ball game? Well, in the, in the end, uh, for this game, you know, the lack of health in the defensive secondary for the Buffaloes, I think, was probably the, the, deep, the difference in this one. Uh, a couple of first downs here or there, a couple of plays here or there. It really, really would have turned the tide for the Buffs defensively if they would have had the starters back there. Yeah. Mike yeah. McIntyre, in fact, told us in the radio post game, he said we were so thin that we got down so far in the depth chart in the secondary that if there would have been one more injury, we would have had to call a timeout to figure out who was going to play back there. I mean, right. I, that's kind of where it was. All right, let's look at the overall broad picture of this thing. Buffalo's finish up 2-10. and 10. For the first time since 1915, they go winless in conference play. 0-9 in this one. Lopsided losses a year ago, close losses in year two. Should we all take that as all forward momentum and building? I think you have to. I think you have to look forward to some close wins next year. These guys have been mentally toughened throughout the season. They've learned how to lose close. Now the next step is learn how to win close, and I think that will happen next year. There's so much talent at the at the youth level on this football team. A lot of freshmen and sophomores have played a lot of significant time this season. I'm looking forward to seeing those guys with another offseason of physical conditioning and an understanding of the playbook. And, and the bottom line is, though, this is all about you know going shopping now for, for Mike McIntyre. Now you get a, another recruiting class in here. Yeah, and hopefully a couple of those freshmen are able to play big roles next year. Some guys who are you know really splashy, uh, maybe even three or four star recruits will come in and really you know help this Buffalo's team both offensively and defensively. But I'm looking forward to seeing the guys we've seen this season again progress and then really the player improvement program that the Buffaloes have in place this offseason. Final comment about a group of 21 who walk out of here. You know, when you look at these guys who are fifth-year seniors, they had three head coaches. Yeah. Uh, a lot of losing. That's a lot of adversity. And those guys, I think they, they kind of cling to the idea that they were part of the beginning of something. And, and I think they will be. I think they yeah. will be. These guys have faced the perhaps the most adverse five years any five-year guy has ever had at the University of Colorado football program. But uh, as far as next year goes, they have been a part of a team. They've showed through example to the younger guys mm. what it is to be professional, what it is to show up, what it is to fight every week when the odds are against you, when there's nothing else to fight for, but you still show up and you still fight. These guys, I think, will leave an impression here. How many times have we used the phrase close but no cigar? It applies again here in the 12th game of the season. The Buffalo's year comes to an end with 2-10 and 10 record. 0-9 in Pac-12 plays. They fall in another close one. Lose the lead the fourth quarter, end up losing 38-34. to For Chad Brown, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us on our season recap here on 850 KOA and CUBuffs.com.